Hello, everyone, to episode nine of, of Tampo, a Sina Una stream. My name is HTP Paladin, or just Paladin for short. I'll be your DM of the evening. Let's go around and say hi to our players. Um, this week, again, we're currently lacking our Latia, but she'll be back next week. In the meantime, uh, she is, I think, Josh, you know all that she does offhand. So let's start with you, Josh. Yeah, and shall I also do the Latia's things? Please. Excellent. I'll start with Latia because, uh, you know, she's great. Um, if you don't know Latia Jaquise, you absolutely should. She uh, is the community manager at Monaco Gaming. She streams on her own channel and can also be found at the uh, Rivals of Waterdeep channel on Sundays. Um, am I forgetting anything? If I am, someone let me know. Um, but let's just say that she is excellent. Please follow Latia. You can also catch her next week for Gary Con. Ooh, uh, that's stuff I don't know about yet. Uh, I believe next Sunday, uh, more details will be revealed. Excellent, very good. Um, lots of love to Latia. Um, I'm Josh. I'm a freelance tabletop game designer, variety streamer, bunch of things. Uh, today I am playing to I, your uh, gold gnome. The bylon with my pal Hadi, the little the little bird who flies around. We love him a lot. Anyways, that's me, and I'll toss it over to uh, Omega. Hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bark. Critical Bark across all social media channels. I am a professional actor, vocalist, tabletop professional, and hot mess incarnate. I just smashed a fried chicken sandwich with cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato mayo and i took off the pickles because fuck pickles um and i also have a strawberry shake so i'll be drinking that during most of the show you're welcome um that's me uh i'll tell you more stuff later once we end lucia um hi i'm lucia otherwise known as seer sword all over that's my business but also it is me um, I'm playing Gaita, the Black River Barbarian, um, who is trying to figure it out. She's, she's, she's on the same wavelength as me. We're just trying to figure it out. All right. Um, spon sponsors? Do we go to sponsors? Yes. Uh, I, for I forgot to say that I play Manalo, the, uh, the Umala <laughs> God, Dragonborn, uh, Grave Robber Rogue, who got his armor taken by a really mean tiger spirit entity who wasn't actually really mean, just trying to protect their forest. And he said, yeah, that's cool. I get that. Yeah, you can have this. I want it anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. And uh, Latia generally plays our um, Balete Elf uh, 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 ranger. Yes. I, I, I'm gonna so y'all. Aha! I said it better this time. I didn't say man, I said man. Man gonna y'all. Glad that. you got that. Glad you got that because I, I wasn't gonna try. I just wasn't gonna try. <laughs> um, is sponsor time. Sponsor time. Sponsor time. Sponsor Excellent. Time. Hello. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I forgot the Hello. Hello, friends. Um, as you may or may not be aware, uh, my name is Josh, uh, and I am one of the uh, princesses of the royal kingdom of Vernovia. Um, and uh, it is my great honor to be back with you here in season two. Um, it's been some time. Uh, we've been busy uh, ruling the kingdom of Vernovia through uh, these trying times we're all facing. Um, but uh, wanted to address the people today, um, uh, our people, um, the citizens of Bernovia, um, and with me, um, uh, along, alongside me in this announcement, I do also want to introduce um, my, my twin uh, brother, Princess Omega. Um, uh, Hi. Hello, Omega. Uh, ever, could we have a round of applause for, for uh, Princess Omega, please? Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
uh, we are here today to announce um, uh, a brief uh, pause um, in, in uh, official proceedings because we have decided to um, uh, form a, a musical duo and are going to tour the world, um, obviously safely with social distancing and all that stuff, tour the world um, uh, is in, in preparation for the release of our new EP. Um, and as such, we wanted to give you our, our, our lovely Bernovians, um, a, a kind of uh, preview uh, for what this, this um, new EP will entail. So uh, without further ado, um, let's, let's just prepare. Uh, we're gonna demo the first song on our EP, which is called The Hit Point Press Library. I would like it known that I was woken up to do this. This is their dream. I am simply helping them because they paid me in Kit Kats. Look, you know, we all, we all have weaknesses. And now, here's the Hit Point Press Library. Excellent. Hit Point Press. Hitpointpress.com. They have many things. Come on. Shop along. You can get Griffin Saddle Bag. It's a bag with a saddle. You can even get seen at Una. But be careful, there might be a battle. Have you ever heard of the deck of many? There's lots of cards, even animated ones, too. Come on, don't be a lard. I don't know what that means, but you can go to hitpointpress.com and get other things like heck no. I don't know why I scream that. Just go along. Hitpointpress.com. It's cool for, for you and me. Hitpointpress.com. This song is ending. We. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tune in next time when we show off our second song on the EP. It's yet to be titled, so just stay tuned for that. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll, we'll, we'll share the title with you. Anyways, um, want to take a moment and also uh, thank our, our other uh, great supporters. Um, like idle champions, there's a code on the screen and you can type exclamation mark code in chat and get the code for a, a free um, Electrum chest in game. Check that out. Code is blob noob cows. It's right there. Blob noob cows, that's correct. That sounds like a really bad Call of Duty insult. Blob like, noob cows. Yeah. Actually, it sounds like what, what like, what, like you know, uh, one of those like news, like shouters or whatever in like medieval times would, would yell. Um, <clears throat> additionally, uh, we want to thank the folks at Arcane Spectacles. They make cool TTRPG products. Just not spectacles. But not spectacles. You still have to get those from non-Arcane uh, suppliers. Um, uh, this is mine that I got from them and I like it a lot from their Kickstarter that they did. Um, but they have a lot of cool things um, like hit point trackers and spell trackers and and i don't even know like just go look at the website it's cool we've got a link it's worth it they also fun fact i did a murder mystery party with them like three weeks ago and it was very nice so apparently they also do murder mystery parties i don't know don't judge me um i anyways um uh I, we also want to thank the folks at rock punch because they allow us to do this and have not pulled the plug on this stream. Thanks, Wack Punch. I'm, I'm really grateful for it because I still get to do things like this um, and wear a crown on stream and completely just bullshit the entire ad stuff. So thanks. Do you actually punch rocks? We could punch rocks. That that sounds like like not a fun time though. Is that the new go touch grass? <laughs> go punch rocks <laughs> go punch rocks <laughs> that's what it is um but be sure to support the other the other rock punch shows on sundays you can catch uh d4 um it's a it's a great uh D, D show uh actual play show set in the forgotten realms with uh, two dms 
Codium by Dustin and Devin. It's a great time. Um, and I think also uh, Corn on the Macabre is still happening. Um, uh, I, I have forgotten what day of the week it is because I haven't done this bit of the ad read in uh, like a month and a half, but I think that also happens. And of course they put out uh, content on YouTube every week. Um, so just please check out all their good stuff uh, because it's very entertaining. Um, that's all I have. Um, Princess Omega, is there anything you would like to say before we uh, end the bit? That was definitely rehearsed before time. I like titles. Thank you. Uh, Paladin, back to you. <clears throat> it's, it's every week that you have something new. And I appreciate you, but you're killing me. <laughs> I want it known that whatever came out of my mouth in that song was completely improv. Also, like you... Can we clip that? I think that, that is clip worthy. I need that song. Hit point Please. press library. Send it to them. Thanks. <laughs> you look like you were in a trend and you came out of it just giggling. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like you were just like enchanted, enchanted to say the song and when you came out you just giggled. <laughs> Anywho, with introductions and sponsors and songs about Hit Point Press out of the way, let's get into tonight's episode of Tompo. Last week on Tampo, our adventuring party did some research in the Great Bamboo Library of Araga, mostly personal accounts and records. And nearing the end of the research, Manal had decided to venture out to see Gani, the head forger of Araga, only to find that the, that the town was under attack by tigers. After fighting with and contesting with what seems to be their leader at, a ma at the forge, Manalo was, Manalo's armor was taken away, asked for and fought over for by the great tiger spirit Hali Halima. And it is here where we resume. Manalo, you are currently on the ground very injured. What do you do? Well, we started actually walking back towards Guinea at the end. Right. Yeah. So we are all, uh, they caught up and, you know, I told them that the person, the, the spirit wasn't bad. It seems just saw an opportunity and will do whatever it needs to do to protect its forest and whatever. And since Manalo didn't really <clears throat> understand, nor has he really gotten concrete or useful um, information about the armor. Um, he let them have it. Um, if that would stop the the, the rampaging, um, who knows if he'll see it again? Um, I don't think it's really his top priority, but we'll see. But right now, they are all walking back to Gani. Um, I guess to make sure everything's fine. Heading back to Gani's forge. You find the old dwarf sitting on the ground, uh, his magma encasements slogging off of him as he tries to recuperate his breath. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, Manalo is definitely walking slow <clears throat> because he is still very hurt. Mm -hmm. I think as uh, you kind of get back towards where the rest of the group is, because um, I seem to recall that you had been run very far away with the tiger. So as you get back to where the rest of us are, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see that you're hurt and all. Um, uh, you, do, do you want, um, would you like a little healing, uh, Manalo? I, I could, I could um, maybe help a little bit if you're not feeling 
well. Let us make sure that everyone else is fine first. I, um, <clears throat> you still there? Like there's like a heavy breathing. Um, let's check in with Gunny first. Of course. Did you lose your shirt? Something looks different. I gave my armor away. Hmm. It's a weird thing for a tiger to want. Apparently it's more than just armor. It is something very powerful. Something that would appease the maiden of blood. That he wished to give it to her as an offering. Interesting. I could tell it had power to it, but I was unsure what it that would be, and it would seem giving it up would prevent more chaos from happening, so it seemed like the most logical thing to do. Well, I hope other Manalo is okay. Huh? The, the voice in the armor. Or yeah. the body or wherever. wherever it was it in this, apparently. Ah, ah, good, good. In that case, we haven't lost other Manalo yet. Glad you're in there, and I'll uh, just kind of pat him on the shoulder, and as I do, I'm just going to drop a little cure wounds. <coughs> uh, so you, you'll get um, seven hit points back. The breathing slows down just a little bit. <sighs> um, and he just continues walking. <coughs> As you approach the forge, Gunny looks up and just waves before looking back at the town of Araga. Say that one more time. Gunny is on the, sitting on the ground. He waves at the three of you before he looks back across Araga. Ah. Uh, like a friendly wave? Like, hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a long time. Or like, like type of like come over here like just uh i see you over there i'm gonna go back to what i'm doing now kind of wave hmm. maybe you could get um another piece of armor or, you know to replace the one that you don't have anymore just throwing that out there might be helpful for you we, we do have a, a remarkably high um uh fight to days spent in the same place uh ratio you are not wrong. Um, I will see what they might have. Um, and I'll continue walking. And when I get to Gunny, I will like, um, I can tell that his, his body is shifted towards a different area. So I'll face that area as well. Um, okay. That entity, they requested my armor as a offering to the Maiden of Blood. Was, was it special? Apparently so. When folks have tried to, when the eye, no, it was the eyes, it was Gaita's son, somebody else did. Gaita's son. Um, Poi talk? Mm -hmm. Thank you. When the son of Gaita, Poi talk, tried to identify the armor there was apparently something else happened but all we heard was static or feedback or something it was potentially a trying not to be perceived there were also instead of bone as reinforcements for the leather leather it was like the spine of a crab or something, crustacean. Are, are you a hunter or something? No. I woke up with it on. That doesn't sound pleasant. Well, I was dead before I woke up, so... That also does not sound pleasant. I don't remember what happened before that, so. 
everything you've said so far in the past minute has been very unpleasant. I'm very sorry for what you've gone through. It is okay. I am merely trying to figure out who I was beforehand. Then apparently, both that armor and and I like my claws kind of like wrap against the gold mask. Both of these entities seem to have information, but neither want to share them. And I was not willing to sacrifice the town for the knowledge behind this armor. So I let it go. True, but are you okay with not having what it might know? I might see it again. Or you might not. Or I might not. You seem fine either way. I am learning that there are many things about me that I might need to potentially not know. So if that's one more thing that won't be a burden, then it is what it is, I guess. But I am still curious about the entity that lives within the gold death mask that I wore, that I wear. That's a little outside of what I do. I am aware. The eye seems to mention that you, well, you do work with metal and armor and things. Um, I was seeing if you had anything to spare, potentially, until I either recover what was lost or I get something new. Um, I have one thing, but it's a little unnerving, I think, for you to wear. Not much is unnerving to me. As you see, the black veins just pulse. Sure, sure. He gets up and uh, very slowly he walks over to a, a hanging rack where different uh, pieces of leather and armor hang off. And he pulls out, uh, he pulls off this very rough, tough hide uh, leather jerkin, kind of like. Um, <clears throat> Kind of like a, a longer vest. It comes down to about your thighs. Um, there's this, but I'm not certain if it's... Uh, it's made from crocodile. It might be a little weird for you to wear it. Well, if the story of the those like me, the Umala God, is true. I wasn't originally like this, so. Sure. Um, I didn't make this. Someone traded it out for something else. I figured it would be a good thing to sell off, but not a lot of buyers for this. Um, he holds it out to you, Manalo. How much? You willingly gave away your last piece to help appease Hali Halima. We'll we'll settle it later on. If that's all right with you. That is fine. And I will take the um the vest and I'll put it on. There's like no weirdness coming from Manalo. Um keep in mind he doesn't Yeah, he's an Umala god, Dragonborn. But it didn't feel like it's him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. he's not like, oh, I you killed someone that looks like me, but a beast. No. Yeah. So. Um, the I and Gaita, you see Manala put on this, um, this kind of vest, vest reinforced long vest of black crocodile hide. I think it suits you. Gonna like it actually. Um, for mechanics sake, what exactly would this be? Uh, this would count as reinforced armor. Cool. Basically what I had. Good. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> back to 16. Looks quite striking on you, Manalo. Thank you. Uh, 
<clears throat> I am unsure of what we should do now. The library had no information whatsoever, and I tried to come to Gani for information about the armor, but as the armor is gone... Uh, yeah, um... You know, I, uh, I... I don't know how much there's left in the library to, to uncover. We could certainly, certainly go back and keep looking. Or I do perhaps... not think that would be useful for our time. Each time we asked something, it seemed as if the great library had nothing at all. You know, that's fair. I was about to say perhaps a better course of action would be maybe go and see if we can seek audience with the Maiden of Blood. I, I don't know. It sounds very ominous, but also maybe a good idea. If that's where Nontog is going to go anyways, uh, Either we get there and maybe we can get there ahead of them and cut them off, so to speak, or if we get there after them, perhaps we can help settle things. I don't know. Definitely feel as though we should start moving that way. Sure, sure. Um. Oh, oh, before I forget, I'll, I'll turn to uh, Gunny. Um, uh, I think your your husband uh, mentioned that uh, you you know a, a, a Talarak. Yes. Oh, um, I, and I'll kind of like fish through a bag uh, and pull out um, uh, a small um, uh, a small like uh, large leaf that's wrapped around uh, um, a piece of mango um, that's been like dried out and, and preserved. Um, I promised him that I would get him some of this uh, mango. Um, I, you wouldn't happen to be willing to get that to him, would you? Well, I was going to make a trip um, a few weeks from now to go see him. How so... about if I leave it here with you? If you have a chance to see him, you can take it to him. And if not, then I'll pick it up on the way back if I'm going to head that way before you. All right. Very good, very good. Tell that, tell that young man that he needs to uh, respect his elders more. Then tell him I'm joking, but you know. You, make you him believe it for a moment. You know how he is, all right? Of course, of course. Okay. I feel attacked. <laughs> Good. Hmm. Anyways, shall we? What do the three of you do? <sighs> I guess we start heading towards... Well, we need to... Before we go there, we should probably... Because we've seen... Hold on. Let me make sure... Oh my god, why is there stuff on here? Uh, we have seen... Um, Datu Masindi, we should probably just speak to them once more before we head out, oh, just to make sure everything's maybe good. Also, the Babylon and the Babylon. We're going as to well. talk to them, and they never did because uh, the thing at the library took a little more time than we expected. Then let's head to the Babylon first, and then on our way out, we, well, you know, wherever they may be. We stop by the Datu just to make yes. sure all is well and let them know of what we are doing. And they could potentially tell us the best way to get to where yes. the Maiden of Blood is. Yes, of course. And maybe we should also like leave word for Pilar. I don't know. Where is she? I believe she um, went off on a quest. We should leave like a note or something telling her where we've gone. He says nothing because he don't write nothing. You need to write that. Well, I'm, I'm happy to write it. I just, I'm just looking for affirmation that yes, we should communicate to one quarter of our party where the other three quarters of our party is going. Looking at the at the other person party at the one person party who just cannot like read or write normal like letter and like we should write a letter. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
Gaita, you're with me on this. We should tell Pilar where we're going, right? I, I, I would think so. I think she's very valuable when, where we're going. Um, Probably the strongest of all of us, frankly. Wow. Flattering, sure. Um, are we going by boat or are we traveling on land? I think we should probably, we can take a boat, but I feel like, you know, let's explore the wilderness. Manalo says, we sh- can go either way, but potentially uh, we should know this land a little more. Of note, if you decide to go by boat, it's going to take you, uh, I want I want to say, one to two weeks to get around the coastline uh, okay. of Tulunan. If you go by foot, it'll take you about a couple of days. Okay. I, I just, I was also asking because I don't think I don't know either. <laughs> Probably faster to walk across land. That way we don't have to sail all the way around the entire island. I, well, I don't know where we're going. It's okay, I, just I studied geography. I it's good, we're good. In any case, perhaps the boat would be a good place to, a, a note? Oh yeah, yeah, it's her boat. That's a good idea. Maybe she's at the boat, we can check. And if we have any things we don't want to bring with us or things we do want to bring with us, we can hmm. drop off or pick up there. Yes, good good point. Good point. I I think the boat is a great place to to leave things. We'll go to the boat. Okay. What do you do at the boat? Um also oh, I should I should say um <clears throat> As you walk through Araga, heading towards heading towards the the bay, you see that everyone in Araga has gotten a, a kind of um, determined energy in them. Um, you see lots of people standing at at the town's edge, keeping an eye on the forest. You have people uh, bring up some small some small barriers up to try and block off anybody who's coming in from the forest randomly. You see people at the at the dock talking about uh, different ways to get ma- new materials in from Putawanan. Uh, primarily, primarily raw or or nails. I'm just like grab, like a, a strapping young lad who's going to feel responsible for explaining to a senile old man what's going on. I'm just. Just kind of grab him by by the wrist as he's walking. He's like, uh, young man, uh, what what what's all this fuss going on? Everyone seems to be very busy. What's happening? Can you roll me just a quick persuasion check? Of course. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, persuasion check twenty total. Twenty total. Okay, um, you grab someone. They try and take away at first, but they look at you, kind of exasperated, going, "Miss Cindy's calling for for protection against the woods. We don't know what happened, why they came here, but we're trying to set up some defense in case they come again. Mm. While Kumika Slap uh, is trying to figure out why they came at all. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, and so." Just building a barricade and that type of thing. Some. Hmm, hmm, okay, well, good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Um, uh, you haven't happened to see uh, the Datu or, or the Babylon anywhere, have you? Uh, Kumikislav went into the forest already. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay. Um, just like a quick trip or, or, or uh, something a little bit longer? We're prepared for something a little bit longer. Listen, I have to keep they're expecting, they're expecting these bullets over there. Please, I need to go. Of course, of course. Thank you for humoring an old man. And I'll just kind of do that, like, very... He's painfully. already gone. Like, He's already gone. The moment, like, you kind of, like, reached up to Paris and he already, like, withdrew and, like, is moving. Should respect your elders. We're the reason you're alive today. <clears throat> Anyways. Did they say where the Datsu is? No, I... Presume that maybe he like pointed in a direction. Nothing. 
Ah, I curse his name. <laughs> I'm sure we'll listen for gunshots. Loud banging noises. Do we hear any loud banging noises? <laughs> Other than, you know, things being built, there's a difference between a hammer and a gun. Just, you know, that question out of context. Um, you hear lots of sounds of construction, mm-hmm. lots of sounds of people making things, um, and with that comes a barrage of different loud noises, but you don't hear gunfire particularly. Well, I'm sure they are potentially amongst these um, builders. We can see. Yes, perhaps they've taken a, a break from showboating with their firearms to be helpful. Sure. And I'll keep walking. Ow. <clears throat> um, as you head towards the bay itself, you see Masindi there talking with different merchants trying to make deals. Um, there's about three, four people all around him, and he's addressing them each in sequence, making notes and jotting down uh, what each person is demanding for what they're going to be offering. <clears throat> um, you see Masindi's talking to all, all of them kind of in sequence, and all of a sudden he stops and looks over at this large pile of large uh, stock of gunpowder next to him um and he looks at the merchant he's talking to you see him open up the the container that holds this gunpowder and you see him bring out one of his guns and points at the merchant you hear him yell what is this The merchant is kind of stammering, um, trying to explain. It. It's just, it's just, it's just gunpowder. Um, but Masindi closes up, closes up the, ba- oh. the container, and kicks it into the water. I, I assume we get there by this point. Um, yeah. What is going on? You three, uh, difficulties with trade. Are you do I, okay? do I get as I get there? So I don't meta, and potentially I could be wrong, but as I get there, uh, and I know they're speaking about gunpowder and stuff, does it smell similar to something in Agusan? I mean, it smells like gunpowder and anything else, it smells like gunpowder. What are you trying to get at here? I'm trying to see if this is the gunpowder that were temp that was temp not the gun so there was there was gunpowder and it was tampered with uh and had stuff in it. That there was stuff that we thought was gunpowder that was put in with the incense that um drained oh. like magical like like uh cuz You're right um, yeah it wasn't a pile of gunpowder it was incense and it had like it could have been something gunpowder esque Right, but it. Pilar used it and lost a spell slot. Mm-hmm. Can you make me a perception check to kind of like smell out the, figure out the smell in, partic- in particular? Yeah, I gladly will. Uh, I'm gonna look as, as they're speaking. Not look, you know, my my head swivels over as I speak. Um, as I'm speaking, and um, a little bird lands on your shoulder and casts guidance. Oh, I'll try to do that myself. We're good. Thanks. Uh, hmm, mm, 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 that was bad. Mm, mm, that was bad. Oh, uh, 13. 13. There's the you smell the smell of gunpowder, the kind of acrid, uh, stale smell that it has, but underneath oh, it, you, you, sorry, but underneath it, you smell that secondary scent. You're not able to quite place it, but it does smell truly familiar. What was wrong? I I know gunpowder. I know a good batch. I know a bad batch. Something about what they are trying to sell me, he says, holding his gun a little firmer at the merchant. Something's wrong with that. 
Mm. Smells wrong, doesn't it? It smells... I don't know. I know what Gunpowder smells like. It has a very, very sweet aroma, you know? But there, it kind of stopped. It stops. Like, there's nothing there. Um, can, can I kind of, like try and pass it off as being like a kind of bumbly old lady and like kind of put myself in his gun and this merchant but like not like obviously and you just can, sort you of can like definitely try turn towards this merchant and just like pretend I'm I don't know what's going on behind me and be like where, where did you get this uh, gunpowder from? Um, what is your passive perception check? Uh, 12. 12? Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, and you're facing the merchants? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, I get it from my sources. I get it from my supplies. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what he sees wrong with it. But now I've lost... What is that? 20 golds worth of of gunpowder that has to be remade, recrushed, and redelivered. Wasted. My time. Did you get it from? And this time I'll kind of like kind of drop the like bumbling persona and kind of narrow my eyes in that like that Lola way. <laughs> Can you roll me a perception check? It's a four. It's a four? Mm -hmm. um, you're looking square at this person and you feel this uh, intense pain in your side. Um, looking down, this merchant has a knife sticking in you one second so yes. manalo and i are they're all standing over there and this merchant decided to attempt to stab gaita right in not front attempt, of us not attempt just did yeah i'm L just blasting his damn face I have a uh, passive of 17. I definitely, I, I, that's no yeah, way. Yeah, like, wh I, wouldn't I have noticed somebody. that? Your passive perception is 12. I rolled a 19 on stealth. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm going to roll damage. Please roll the hit. You're asking me to hit? Uh, I'm asking Manala, who is Eldritch Blasting. Oh, okay, gotcha. If we're fighting, I mean, I'll... I'll, I'll wasn't planning involved. to, but this individual shot to stab her. Uh, okay, yeah, I, that's fine. Yeah. Gaita, right. please take nine points of piercing damage from this knife in you. Okay. Uh, does a 19 hit? 19 does hit. Eight points of force damage. As I say, Eight. what was that for? And it was more meant to be because it's all force damage, even though there's a black and you know weirdness to it. It's just meant to like be like you know when somebody like pushes you against a, uh, like a, a locker or like something like pushes you against a wall. Like yo, what was that? It's supposed to just like kind of knock the knock the wind out of that chest a little bit. It's like what was that? Um, you shoot your Eldritch Blast and it hits the person square in the chest. And where you Eldritch Blasted, there's just this uh, concave indent in their chest. The person speaks out, um, looking at you, Manalo, and says, You know, friends. Uh, and go and pulls out a second knife. Can I please get initiative? Jesus, fuck. Was not expecting to have this happen. <laughs> this time I got caught up before the break. What's up? A rare treat. I know. Initiatives? 21. 21. Gaita? I think Gaita's frozen. Da I? I think, uh, yes, 15. 15? 
I'll roll initiative myself. Ooh, spicy. That is going to be... Okay. Hmm. So, Gaita's internet is acting up again. Is the polite thing to do to wait or to roll for initiative? Um, she, she can roll when she gets here. Yeah, I, I um, think we can just slot her in as soon as as soon as she uh, gets back in. Sure thing. Normally, it takes her just a second to get back. Yeah. In that case, Manawa, can you please go? You're up first. My friend, did I get any vibe from that? Understand what that meant? Can you only need an insight check? Ooh, 23. 23. They definitely are referring, from what you can tell, they're looking at you with like this kind of knowing glance. Mm -hmm. um, they're referring to someone that you also know. I can, um, that's the kind of tone that they're taking. I can guess who that might be. Guy, can you roll the initiative? It was a 17. 17? Fantastic. Manalo, you are up first. Um, I just look at the Datu, or I look over towards the Datu, um, and I say, it looks like we have company from before. Don't miss your shots. And I'll take out my my dagger, uh, and I'll um, just close in and attempt to stab them like they tried to stab Gaita, or did stab Gaita. Mm-hmm. Um, what am I doing? Uh, okay. Uh, ooh, that is a 24 to hit. 24 hits? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Manila, with your passive perception as well, as you move forward, your senses spring out to the other people around you. Two other people have drawn knives. Good to know. And as I'm stabbing, I say, be warned, there are others. Um, that is going to be uh, ooh plus ooh spiciana uh twenty four points of four points piercing damage yep magical okay um you stab into them hard and they just take the blow unmoving. Um, okay. um, as a bonus action, hmm. does it seem like they're all focused on us? On you three and the Datu. In the Datu, yeah, cool, great. All right, then never mind. As a bonus action, I will, uh, uh, how, what's around us? Cause we're, at, we're at the docks, I'm assuming, correct? Mm -hmm. You're on these, uh, this kind of uh, spider, spider's nest network of different docks on the different boats. Like, mm. if you took like five feet to your left, you'd be walking onto someone else's boat. If you took 10 feet to your right, you'd be walking onto water. Gotcha. Then, ooh, okay. Uh, then I will... Um... <laughs> okay, let's have fun. I will bonus action, cunning action. Um, mm -hmm. They they will get an attack of opportunity um, as I attempt to as I run towards the water. Um, when get kind of get into the water a little bit and then like lay as flat as possible as I attempt to hide in the water. Uh, this bay is salt water. You're a dick. You're a dick for that. I was so excited, but I guess, you're right. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Then never mind. I'm gonna stay where I am. No bonus action. I'm sorry. This was unintentional. Um, I was so excited. I know. I know. Uh, all right. Um, what do you do with the rest of your turn? Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just okay. trying to stay there. Um, the person you just stabbed. Uh, Use it with his with his knife hand. Attacks weirdly when he tries to hit you, but it looks like he's trying to hit you with his elbow while his arm is fully extended. So you do um, like an unarmed strike versus you using the knife. It looks like it. Let me roll the hit. 
Ooh. Okay. Um, so this attack hits. It's it's a natural 20, but this part doesn't deal any damage. Um, he hits you at, at, the, at the point of his elbow, and his entire arm from the elbow to his wrist flops. Um, and wraps around your forearm. I'm grappled. You are grappled. Okay. Um, he takes his knife from his grappling hand to his main hand and attempts to stab you once. And because you are grappled, uh, that is going to be a hit. Please, god damn it. Uh, please take three points of damage. Three? Okay. Three. Um, one of the other people with knives comes up behind you while you are grappled. Mm -hmm. I have advantage I'm still missing. Oops. Not a fan of that. I hit once and please take five points of piercing damage. From that one, um, what are they trying to stab me? Huh? What are they trying to stab me? They're just trying to attack your attack your back. Cool. Uh, I I move in a way that is more like a slice versus a stab as I use a candy dodge. Um, okay. To take uh, half of that. So do we round up or down? Uh, we're going to round... I just don't remember. I think we've done... I don't you know, what? know what the standard for this is. <laughs> you know, know what? Let's make a new standard right now because you're using a class feature and class features are like part of your core identity. We're going to say when you use a Kenny Dodge, round down. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. So from okay. five would be two. Two. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. That brings us to Gaita. Gaita, what do you do? Um, I'm going to move out of the way. Um even if it's just like turning to the side and then I'm going to look behind me at the dot two and I'm going to say, you better shoot. And then I'm going to rage. <laughs> All right. Um, for my bonus action. And, um, and then I'm going to try and hit this guy in front of me who stabbed me, I guess. Okay. Um, um there is the person that is currently grappling Manalo and the person behind Manalo currently stabbing Manalo. So where are they in relation to me? Because I thought there was a guy in front of me. There's a guy in front of you and imagine like a diagonal effect in front okay. of you where like in front of you is the person who stabbed you. To your left is Manalo. Diagonal away from Manalo is that other person. That's the guy who's grappling him is the other person? No, it's the first person. In front of me? Yes. Okay, then, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and attack him then. Okay, roll the hit. Um, roll the first. Okay, I'll do the first one. First one, Reckless, which is good that I did that. Um, that hits. It's like a 24. 24 hits. Uh, and then my second attack. Ooh, that's like a 26. 26 hits. Please stop. You're scaring me. <laughs> um... Uh, da, 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 the 10. I'll just roll this one twice, I guess. Um, so the first uh, first hit is nine, 11 points of damage. 11. And then the second one is um, six, seven, eight points of damage. Eight. As your second strike comes down and hits this person uh, across their their shoulder bones, um, they you slice away and their entire form just kind of crumbles onto the ground as if they're just they're made of thick leather. Are they still grappling? In as much as like an inanimate object can when it's wrapped around someone's arm. Okay. Is it still like alive? No, it is not moving. Okay. Um. Okay, that's that's my turn then. Okay, that brings us over to the eye. There are still two that are up. Two that are up, yes. And um, is there anything like identifying or distinguishing about them, or they just seem to be like? 
for lack of a better word, like normal people, right? Like nothing, nothing that would clue me into like, oh, this person is like really strong. They look like normal people. Um, one thing I find that's kind of odd looking is that the knives that they have in their hand uh, look like they're made out of wood. Uh, not like carved pieces of wood either, just like somehow to found a jagged piece of bark and uh, cut away part of it to make a handle. I just got splintered? Yeah, you currently have a, like a huge splinter in your side. You should get that checked out. That's rude. Uh, not yet it isn't. Cool. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, kind of walk around the fight um, to stand like 10 feet behind where these two individuals are. So if they try to leave combat range with Manalo and Gaita, they uh, cannot. Um, okay. And then I'm just going to uh, look up at um, Hari, who is, I assume, you know, kind of kind of flying in the area. And I'm just going to look at um, the one that had made its attack against uh, Manalo. Um, um, I think the one that, that hit successfully. Um, and I'm going to point at that one. And I'm going to say, Hari, dive bomb. Um, as I cast Inflict Wounds. It's a melee spell attack from me. Um, Twenty twenty two. Twenty two? Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Twenty two hits. Um, 15 points of necrotic damage as Hari, I imagine like actually like because they don't physically interact, like just passes through them um, and, and where uh, Hari like passes through the body of this person, there's like this kind of wave, this echo of necrotic uh, damage that, that kind of goes out from, from the, the point of impact, so to speak. Okay. What was the damage again? Sorry. Uh, it was 15 points of necrotic damage. Thank you. Okay. Um, as Hari passes through, you see that the, the kind of skin that they have uh, ripples and starts to model from just rot. That's my turn. Okay. That brings us over to um, Miss Cindy. Uh, Put, aims his guns at one of the people with knives and fires twice. Come on, man. What, what do you mean, come on, man? What do you mean by that? I just, I want him, I, I want to see him use them. I mean, he's using them right now. The way that I, I hope that they would intend to be used. What do you, what do you mean by that, Lucia? I want him to hit something. <laughs> Um, he fires once, twice, a third time. The first shot knocks a knife away out of uh, one of the attacker's hands, and two of the two of the shots hit the same arm, and the arm is torn off. Um, whatever stump there is, there's no flesh. There's no bone. There's nothing inside. Miss Cindy is smiling at first, and when he sees uh, the army, goes, Ah! What is that? The person who just had his arm uh, torn off pulls another knife out from his clothing and runs at... Let's go with, let's roll, let's go with uh, Manalo for one, Gaita for two, Masindi on three or four. Okay, um, he attacks Masindi. Is he currently engaged with anyone? No, he is not. Okay. Um, but that is going to be a hit. 
Um, uh, take you see the person whip a dagger into Missindy's arm. Um, and as it digs into Missindy's arm, the person lets go and the dagger stays in place. Gaita, can you make me a strength saving throw? I sure can. At disadvantage. Oh. We are raging, so this is still not a disadvantage. It's a, it's a straight roll, I guess. Oh, strength saving throw? Mm-hmm. That is an 18. An 18? An 18. An 18. Um, you are, there's this incredible surge of pain in your side for the dagger is, and you reach up and grab it and pull out, and this thing was growing roots. Uh, no, I am not getting deadly premonition right now. You only take three points of damage. <laughs> Masindi starts screaming in pain. Um, as he pulls his own dagger out from him. Oh, buddy. That brings us to Manalo. So there's one on Masindi? One on Masindi and one on you. And there is still one on me. Correcta. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stabby stab, probably. Yeah, okay. I'm going to stab. Is there anyone else on the one with me or no? Mm, um, no. The one on the one on you currently possibly is Guy, but you just step away from it. Just step away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, still hits. That's a 23 to hit. Yep, hits. Uh, oh, oh, oh. And that's going to be... Oh, yeah. Nine points of uh, piercing damage. Magical. Okay. And then I'm going to bonus action disengage and get over to the area where my Cindy is to make sure that they aren't alone. Um, and as I do, um, this individual who originally stabbed me um, feels a tingling sensation. Can they make a wisdom saving throw, please? <laughs> I have a plus five on this roll. Fuck me. What'd you get? Don't get cocky. Single digits. What's up? What's up? Right. So as they feel um, very um, uh, sure of themselves, knowing that there's no way the mind could be muddled, they are yeah, wrong. Yeah, um, as they take, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. That is one away from being max damage. Um, uh, 17 points of, uh, psychic damage. 17 points. Yeaser. Um, you with your, you with your anathema, um, look at this person and blast it with psychic damage. And they shudder once and collapse on the ground, folding into a pile. Hmm. That was unfortunate. And I'll get next to Miss Cindy. That is my turn. Okay. That I'll get to a part to that. Um, if they try, I try it, uh, mm, yeah, I try to get to this part. The, uh, I'm trying to look menacing so they don't continue attacking Miss Cindy to attack me. Uh, but that's what I'm But that's all. Sure thing. That brings us to Gaita. Gaita, what do you do? Okay, so how many how many are like up right now? Only the one. Only the one. Okay. That attack um, Miss Cindy. Yeah, okay. I'll go ahead and uh get over to where they are and I'll I'll try and hit him again. Um, so first reckless. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's another, like, 26. 26 to hit? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, the second one's not as good, but it's a 14. A 14 does miss. Okay, so just the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that's 12 points of damage. 12, Okay. Anything else in your turn? I don't think 
I did guess. You only, uh, did you only hit once? I tried to hit twice. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I guess. Yeah. Uh, have them. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Have them make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. All right. Here we go. Here. What's the DC? The thirteen. Okay, that's cool. Did I miss it? Um, you watch uh, as only to you these kind of ripples start to go move in reverse, centering on this person, and you see as their eyes cloud over. And when they tr they look in other directions, and when they look at you, their eyes find purchase, and you see anger erupt across their face. They are affected by your ability. Cool. Um, would I know if they're undead? You would know if they're undead, yes. Can I tell just yes or no? Not undead. Okay. Just wanted to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Then yeah, I'll do a little. I'll do a little one of these. Just an just an old lady just going. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that brings us to, over to to I. Yes. So, how's this guy looking? Just out of curiosity. This person's only been hit once. They look. They look kind of fresh still. Kind of fresh still. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool, 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 cool. Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm gonna walk a little bit closer. I'm not gonna get into into melee range yet. Um, and as uh, Hari kind of is circling back around from that last dive, I'm we're gonna do the exact same maneuver as I point. And I say, Hari, dive bomb. And uh, Hari is going to do the exact exact same deal. Um, uh, it's a 22 again to hit. Um, OK. Uh, for 21 points of necrotic damage. All right. They're still upright, but they aren't pleased about what just happened. Cool. Cool, good, love that. Um, I don't think I have anything that I can currently do as a bonus action. Um, and so that will be my turn. Okay. Um, Miss Cindy looks around and notices that the person isn't even looking at them anymore, and they laugh and levy their guns pointing at uh, this merchant once more. They're going to attack one, two, and three times. Cindy. God damn it. Uh, one bullet finds purchase. Okay, spicy. Um, let's see here. Um, and the person still stands. And you see Miss Cindy um, take a deep breath and he pushes himself to fire three more times. I want you to know, audience, I rolled 60 20s and rolled four ones. That sounds like, uh, I, I, that sounds rough. Um, yeah, when it's coming from, when it's an ally trying to help you in the fight, uh, but one does find purchase, uh, dealing, um, Macindy fires six times and two bullets hit once in the chest and once in the neck, and the person uh, flops over into a deflated pile. Miss Cindy is just standing there looking just a little freaked out. Hmm. It would we... seem they were friends of another, the one we told you about. What is that? What is that? He says, pointing to just this loose pile of empty skin. Can I squat down and like look at this uh, this puddle? 
Yes. Is it like skin or is there bones in there? Like what what does it look like? Um on, on the surface it looks it looks has all the appearance of someone's like skin. On the inside, it it looks like just toughened leather. Um there's no liquid, there's no bone, uh there's just nothing inside there. Can I look at whichever hand it was that was familiar to me on the other bodies way back, see if they have any marks on their hands or any like identifiers like that. Uh, go for it. Can you make me an investigation check? Oh. Uh, actually, can you make one at, at disadvantage? Hmm. I don't find get? nothing. What'd I you get? A two. You got a two. You're looking all across. You're looking all all across the the skin, but you're not finding anything. Um, but Cindy is looking at these going okay sure all right sure you see him uh, take out a, a small little packet um, and you see him kind of toss it uh, onto one of the bodies you see him take a gun and just shoot the sachet and the pile one of the piles of skin erupts into flame I'm going to go to a different pile um, and just kind of like lean down kind of like Neil Crouch um, feel it to try to understand um, what this could have been in conjunction to non talk. Can you roll me? Um, let's go with either a religion or a nature check, unless you have something else to something else you want to try. I don't. I guess uh, my my veins pulse as I attempt to boister bolster this this um. Finding, if you will. Uh, let's go with. Let's go with religion. Religion. Twenty two with a plus zero. <laughs> I'm going to take that. <laughs> All right. Sure. Um, I'm sure the math works out somehow. I'm gonna ponder this tonight 19 um, plus guidance okay um <laughs> so a d20 plus a d4 not just plus here okay yes. um <laughs> this the way the way that this is kind of prepared on the inside the way that this um is it bends over as as there's something inside of it it the closest thing you think of is armor Uh, something to be worn for protection. But nothing was underneath? Does it remind me of how the the, the vibe I got from Nantog? Because Nantog seemingly had a presence, but nothing underneath. Correct. What the everlasting dick? Um. Huh. This is... Still concerning. They remind me of, well, him. The way I felt when they attempted to constrain me. What is it exactly that you are, I, that this is? I don't know. But it's like a it would suit. seem as if they were wearing something with nothing underneath. But they aren't a spirit. And just for my sake, I don't get any vibes of being like these people being like an Oswang or anything like that, right? Nope. Okay. But I would know that at least. But yes, okay. you would. Cool. Um. Hmm. If it's not a spirit or an Oswang, I don't know what it could be. Kind of like pull out my sword and just like kind of like try to poke at and like lift up a little bit. Does it look like like if you if I do that, does it like hold some kind of shape or is it just flesh with no appearance of any sort of like this is a face, this is an arm kind of appearance whatsoever? More like like imagine a, a leather bodysuit. 
I'm just going to say more and more horrific things as we go along, go on with this investigation. Yeah. As just the reality of what you're looking at sinks in. That's fair. Um, cool. Like, you know how, like, kitchen, kitchen like, uh, dish clubs have the shape of a hand, vaguely? Sure. It has the shape of a person, vaguely. But no, like, characteristics, no, no, no actual physical features, just the loose general shape? Yep. Um, can I turn to, towards, uh, Miss Cindy still here? Miss Cindy is still there. Um, he's, he's already got another pat, uh, satchet ready for when one of you moves away from one of the piles of skin. I'm gonna recognize that, and can I, like, the one that's in front of me, can I, like, fold it up, and then kind of, like, put, put it underneath my arm really quick? Miss Cindy looks disgusted, first off. Where, where did you meet these people here? On the dock? Here on the dock. We've been trading for years. And they've never... No? And I have it in my head. No. When this happened, um, where we just came from, it's because the individuals were already dead, killed, and then someone had taken their place. So where you might want to do a little search for some dead bodies. That's what I'm going to suggest just casually. Great. 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 Um, you also, see the, you, oh, go ahead. He looks at you through, stay here a moment. And he walks like uh, 10 feet forward and goes off to, onto one of the branches of the dock towards a small like uh, coastal trading ship. Um, steps on, you hear the creaking of a floorboard, um, and very distinctly, you hear, you hear him go, fuck. <clears throat> um, he, you hear the sound of something closing, and he walks back on the dock. Okay. Yeah. 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 You, you, yeah. You found them already. Why do you think I was standing right here? Were well, you very suspicious of that boat? No, we were talking near their boat. I approached them. Oh, that's their boat. Okay, good, 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 good. Did good. you think I was just, you were just standing randomly? I just like thought that? you were suspicious of a boat, and I was like, well, why didn't you look at the boat before people started, you know, shedding their flesh? If I was suspicious of a boat already, I would have gone over the, first off, why would I be suspicious of anyone shedding their flesh? Just real quick there. What have you seen in the past week and a half? It just, it's been a lot. It's a very suspicious activity. You've seen people acting like lizards? I look at the two piles of... Well, now the one pile Before of now! Before now! Look. It just... It seems like a very distinctive thing to do. Does it? Yes, I think we're arguing Is the same point the word here. we're using? Is distinctive the operative word we're going to use for this? I would hate to break up this fight of sorts of over semantics, but they are dead, and now we have dealt with those who have killed them, and now they are also dead. Okay. One more thing. Uh, yes. We came here. Uh, well, it is good that we came here, because you are not dead um, because of them, but... Now, other things, uh, we are headed towards where the Maiden of Blood is. And we Why? wanted to see if everything was okay. I mean, vaguely, no. No, vaguely non things are not okay. We will get a handle on this. I need to have my men search through all vessels here any more of that stuff. We also heard you were building a barricade of sorts to prevent, I assume, the tigers, yes? Yes. You don't need to do that anymore. Why? 
Because they were never after you. You all were just collateral, unfortunately. What do you mean collateral? Apparently, it sensed a very powerful item, an item I apparently was wearing. They sent um, their scouts or their people looking for it, therefore looking for me, um, to take my item and give it to the Maiden of Blood as an offering um, for protection. Who, who took it? Um, I believe they were called Holly Halima. Okay. Big Tiger. Sure. Hali Hali Ma is not the only spirit that came here. I my body turns towards Gaita and I before turning back to uh, them. They had a entourage of tigers with them. You said there were other spirits other than them? Because then that is news. Yes. Two tiger spirits came here hunting for, I guess, your armor? Who was the other spirit? Reina Halima. Who was that in comparison to Hali Halima? His rival and consort. That sounds unfortunate. Yes, just a bit. So in case one of them comes back looking for something else, I suppose? We're trying to be ready. In that case, then yes, yes. I thought there was only one, but there was, there was more than one. So that sounds horrific, and I hope that you all um, come back from this. We are going to the Maiden of Blood to get more information. That's not a good idea. Why would you do this? Because we have no other leads. And it sounds like the best... Um, the best plan of action is to at least head towards that direction because everything is seeming to lead towards that direction. She's not someone you would approach and then can leave. If you Please. try and find her and you find her, one or all of you is never leaving her. Ever. Guy, tell you saying something? Well, then we never leave. Someone has to deal with it. And I'd rather it be someone who's willing than someone who's not. If you're going to try and find her, at the very least, try and talk to people on Baga first. That's they true. are yeah. on Baga, correct? Or in? They are around Baga. Yeah. Yes. They're on the they're on the bay, and if you're fast enough, some of the scouts from Baga will find you and help you aboard their flotilla before the maiden sees you. Perfect. I assume that we would be getting some information from locals before we just attempted to talk to her. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure, just... You can't just approach her and think it's going to be okay. Even approaching her is dangerous. I do not believe anyone believes it would be okay. There's a difference between approaching someone and thinking it's dangerous and trying to come out by the skin of your neck like a hero, and then there is her. There's the, there's a division between any other spirit in the entirety of the world and her. Uh-huh. In case we weren't clear, my end goal, at least, is not necessarily to talk directly to her. It's to stop another entity like these from doing so. And if that means that I must involve myself with the Maiden of Blood, then that's the step I have to take to stop another person from upsetting her. 
Okay. And while I have no necessarily connection to the Maiden of Blood, I am here to assist with Gaita, as I believe this entity knows more than they are leading us to believe. And I believe they will cause more pain, suffering, and turmoil if they are not stopped. And in that same vein, I believe I can find more information about who I was before I died. Sure. You helped me avoid being killed by leather people and their trees. Is there anything I can do to help you before you go? Yeah, spare guns you want to get rid of. <laughs> Sorry, what? Do you have any spare guns you're, you're looking to get rid of by chance? I believe you Pilar. Know how, do you know how like to that. use a gun? Yeah, you point and shoot, right? If you're not trained, you're going to break your wrist or worse. How else do you train except with one? You just point and, and click the button. No one should hand you a firearm ever. So is it's, that a no? It's, it's a sound no. We do have one who can potentially use a firearm. Yes. But they are busy at the moment. That was the elf you were with, correct? Her name is Pilar. Pilar. Yeah, if she can use a gun, if she makes it back here, then sure. She makes it back here. Would you happen to have any salves or, or potions or things of that nature to help us with our trip? Um... A couple, actually. A couple. You see him walk over to the dead person's boat. <laughs> Stealing from the dead. How dare. To be fair, they did just try to kill us slash him, so... No, I don't think he's stealing from the, the skin people. He's stealing from the dead people. Uh, <laughs> the ones that were killed by the skin people. Yeah. <laughs> They don't need them anymore anyway. It's fine. Right, they can take them down the Black River. <laughs> Everybody goes. Uh, we're going to roll some funsies here. Uh, he comes back with one greater healing potion and three potions of healing. It's hmm. not bad, actually. No, they were, they were pretty well. Oh, how many potions of healing? Three. He he puts a hand to his head and just sighs. Oh, shit! They're dead. Yes, they are. Oh. Before we leave, can you show us the way the Babai line went? I'm sure we can stop by there before we head out. I'd. You know I would, uh, but your friend's already with her. And they went into the woods forest. Your friend got chased into the woods, yes. Got chased? Yes. Meaning Pilar? Yes. Bye. And the girl she was with? Bye. I assume more attackers. Yeah, okay, they were okay. Then we should head in that direction to make sure they are okay. That seems reasonable. We should mm -hmm. we should try to swing through that direction as we go. Is that the same direction that we're going? We can just Not in the slightest, no. Oh, that's inconvenient. I'm sure Kamika Slap will keep her safe. It's just a matter of how long it'll take them to leave the forest. Would you give Pilar a message that we are going to the Maiden of Blood with some urgency, and that if she returns, uh, you could tell her that and tell her to move very quickly to catch up with us? I can do this, yes. Thank you. Very good. Um, is there anything else I can offer you for to, to help you? 
could you also give Pilar two guns? Sure. Thank you. I think I think you know just having a second one, a backup, is very important. You've got a very weird fixation on guns. No, I just I just think it would be very helpful for her specifically. Out of character, really quickly. Yes. So, did Pilar get chased into the the forest or? Or not? I'm just. Uh, it, it sounded like we were potentially going to go meet Pilar in the forest at some point. Opposite. But directions. also maybe they're coming back. I'm just. Trying, I'm just confused. Of, I guess I just blanked and just got confused. Sure, sure. So uh, here's where you are. Here's yeah. the forest. Yes. Here's where a Ara- Here's where Baga is. What uh, Dai was saying was, if Pilar comes back here to find us here. Gotcha. As if we don't find them as we head over to see the Babylon and stuff. Right. But it sounds like they didn't go the same direction that we're trying to go. And the Babylon is with Pilar and they're just off somewhere in the woods. I thought, yeah, no, I thought we were potentially going to see the Babylon before we go to Baga. If Babylon not, went, the Babylon went this direction. No, dude. Right. So we just, we just don't know how long they're going to be gone. Gotcha. Okay. I see. I thought they were like in the forest next to Talonan, not like deep into the forest, way down on on the island. Um, um, you have the PDF. You have the PDF for the book. Can you please go to page one eighteen? Sure. Uh, the leftmost settlement there. That is where y'all are. So you're technically near the forest. It's just a large forest. Okay, so where 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 again? Ooh, the the leftmost settlement where there's a bunch of ships and and whatnot. Gotcha. And we are going to where? Uh, closer towards the center there, towards the bay. There's like some trees with white leaves. Yeah, yeah that's what we're heading to. It. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. And then they went down. Understood. Yeah. I understand now. Thank you. No worries. That's what we're here for. Um. Yeah. Uh, is there is there anything else I can offer you at all? I believe we should probably just be on our way. Thank you. Ooh, can you just you know, give us food for the journey very quickly, maybe? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, he looks at you and says, do you mind where it comes from? No. As long as it's decent food. He takes a couple awkward steps back over to the dead merchant's boat. That's fine. That's fine. (laughs) He reaches in and uh, he comes back with a couple of uh, wrapped parcels of banana leaf. Um, And uh, he holds out a cloak over to you, Gaita. Oh. Uh, he always talked about it. He's not going to need it. Uh, you look like someone who's going to be swung at a lot. I am swung at a lot. Um, here. Uh, he hands you this uh, very lightweight cloak. Okay. Um, I will... I will... I'll put it on. Okay. Um... With that, we're going to head over to break. Look at that. A break where I'm not about to inflict violence. I already inflicted the violence. Yeah, you did that already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, So we'll be back in about 10 minutes, folks. We'll see you then. Stretch your legs, get some water. We'll be here when you return. Bye. And we are back with Tampo. Uh, Last time, before we hit the break, we did some combat and set a course. Players, what do you three do? Um, having received rations and whatever else we might need to travel, uh, I think we start walking. In, and, yeah, I don't... There's no, like, creatures we could procure to go faster, right? I don't know if there's anything... 
I'd like to uh, pull up my 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 local, uh, you know, like travel directory and book the nearest flight to Baga. Um, okay. Um, so I'm gonna ask two questions. One, could I get just like um, a persuasion just to ask around town if there's a fast way to get there? And also, could I get uh, can I just give an answer question? Do y'all want to take a short rest before you go? That's what I was about to say, and I was muted as I was trying to say it. <laughs> um, I was saying we definitely would just rest up. Probably doing this rest, we can be figuring out um, or getting potential information to get there faster or not. But regardless, we're definitely not because we started this fight not having rested after the Tigers, and I need to rest. <laughs> That's fair. Um, if we are short resting, how I just realized I don't think I've ever short rested in D and D before. How do you, how do you get hit points back? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're doing this. So what you do is, um, you have a number of hit die equal to your your level. Right. Um, you're just barbarian, so you have uh the the num your level. Um, in a number of D12s equal to your level okay. that you just kind of have access to. And what you do is you have to expend uh, any number of them, but you have to expend at least once to start a short rest. Okay. You roll however many of those hit die you want, and you cover that amount of hit points. Plus your um, constitution modifier, if I recall correctly. Yes, plus your yes. Um, And one. then and any kind of abilities that recharge on a short rest, you get back. Okay, sweet. Thank you. That's like how I thought it worked, but I just wanted to double check because I don't think I've ever done it before. <laughs> I have spent three and am back at full. Hmm. Mm. Uh, yeah, I need to do that. Um. Oh. I don't put anything back on my shoulders. But also, as far as the persuasion check, because I probably have the best charisma here. Uh, you know, I don't have the best charisma. Um, yeah, that's fair. Ooh, ooh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, that is 18, uh, 18, 18 math, 25, 31 plus, yeah, I'm, I'm fully back. Okay. Uh, that persuasion check. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen? Okay. Um you start to ask around. Um there's only like really one like uh service animal that you could take to get over there uh swiftly. Um and that is uh some people will rent out uh giant chickens. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. Just mm -mm. for conversation's sake, how much does it cost to rent a giant chicken? How much does it cost to rent a giant chicken? Yes, just hypothetically. Uh, it it costs it costs us a, a very steep price of two gold a day. Two gold a day. Mm -hmm. Is there a replacement fee if the giant chicken does not return? Uh, yes, in the form of forty gold. Mm. The legit question. Um, these giant chickens, um, do they have a name uh, here? Are, are they like, you know, like like a Tiburonis is a giant shark. What are giant chickens called? Um, uh, is in, it Chocobo? In the, book, in the book, they are just called giant fowls. Uh, okay, Chocobo. Got it. Um, Chocobo has more of a canary appearance. This is literally just a large chicken. Those are giant chickens. No one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> Those are based off canaries. And chickens. And ostriches. Ostriches I'll give you, but not chickens. Chicken. <laughs> I don't see any red dangly that's coming off their neck. Uh, chicken. What are you thinking there, Josh? What are you thinking? I just... I just keep thinking like these chickens, they're, you know, they're right there and there. The DM is offering them to us. It would be a giant fowl to pass up this opportunity. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I'll get a chicken. Who got two gold today? We, we got paid a little bit of money. We did. I've got a little bit of money. I ain't giving up my money for y'all. So you don't ride a chicken. I'll ride a chicken and you can walk. I walk. How much cool. faster is it though? Um, so giant fowls move at a rate of 40 feet, but they're also large animals that can like carry a lot of stuff on them. Um so it would cut your time uh down by a third. Actually, oh. since uh what is your movement speed? No, oh, mine is 25. Uh <laughs> You, uh, you'd have your time cut down by a good, I want to say, shoot, two fifths. So, how many days if we don't get the chickens are we saving if we do get the chickens? It's like two days. You'd be saving yourself like two days. That's two days. And if we get hungry along the way, dinner. What if we just get? One large chicken. I am more I'll than ride the chicken. That they, they said that we should not harm the chicken, or it would cost more money, more gold. Right, right, right. No, yes, that is true. But just like worst case scenario, like the maiden of blood requires a sacrifice. Giant Try cow. Chicken. You all seem to um, disregard a lot of things very easily. I would rather spend 40 gold than die. He's got little legs, Manalo. That is true. Maybe Plus, then can. I can, then I can, like, sleep while we walk. So you need your beauty rest, that's what you're saying. Yes, yes. Um, uh, in, in my old age, I have found that naps are um, a, an enjoyable pastime. When possible, I like to nap twice a day, maybe more. I don't sleep as much, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't like to. No, oh, I can't help you with that. If you would like a giant chicken, then by all means, get a giant chicken. It just, it feels like, like an opportunity. That's all. I would purchase a giant chicken. I need art of the three of them walking with the eye on a damn giant chicken. Um, are you trying to, to buy it or just rent it? What's the cost to buy it as opposed to renting? The cost, the cost to actually buy it is 30 gold. If I rent it, does it come with food and tack and all of that? No. What does it eat? Uh, seeds, primarily veggies. Grass. Not a whole lot of meat. Yeah. I can just like let it let it Bugs. walk around while we're stopped. Yeah. Good. But you could also buy it. I can buy it for less than the replacement cost if I kill it. Yes, technically speaking. I I will buy it and I'll just I'll just I'll I'll, I'll look at the 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 giant chicken salesperson and I will say will you buy it back from me if I return and find that I don't need it when I sail to another island. Um can you make me an insight check? Yes. We already got Bao Bao. What's another one? Uh, insight is uh, 21. 21? Oh, God, please. Please, please, please. Um, the, the person looks and goes, we can, we can buy chickens. Do I believe them? They look at you and they say, we buy chickens. You'll buy this chicken back from me upon yes. our return. Yes. yes. Verbal contract. Verbal contract. 
What's your name? <laughs> First off, how dare you ask the name of this merchant? <laughs> <laughs> I would like your name, your boss's name. How long you've like, lived here? Who's your father? Who's your mother? It sounds like you don't trust them or something. What's your store associate ID number? Um, the hunt. Another it's going one. in my notes. Okay. I'll take it. I'll buy it. I will also okay. like to buy the the required equipment to ride it. How much does that cost? Uh, do you have legs? <gasps> I do. I forgot I had them. So yeah, you have equipment. Fine. I just like glare at him and then I go. Um. So to I comes back. You know, a little pit. Pitter patter to ice feet and just the foo, 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 foo of this large chicken uh, following falling behind. I know what you're saying, Chad. I'm going to call it a giant chicken. You say chat as if it's not just Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm going to pretend it's not just Mackenzie. <laughs> Yes, I, I I have purchased a giant chicken, a large fowl, and I would like to think that as soon as I get out of the shop, I am reclining on the back of the giant chicken, and my foot does not touch the ground again until we stop for the night. Um, You're going get to this... name it? Give me 20 minutes to name it. I need to think about chicken names for a moment. That's fair. Got a, I heard got one a in a dream once. Would you oh. like to know this name? Yes, please. Chocobo. Chocobo. Hmm. Let me just think about that. Let it roll around on the tongue a little bit. There's something about it. It feels correct. I'll get back to you on that. What Don't color is this chicken? It's a chicken. It's like, I don't know, white feathers? Mm-hmm. Like I sent a I sent a pic in uh, the Discord chat. I saw the pic. <laughs> I surely did. It, it's got white white plumage, a uh, little bit of little bit of red in the face, yellow beak. The large some chicken. Some yellow paint. Will she lay eggs? Is it a she? Who is gonna check it out? Who? I'm not going to go into this. It's it's male. It's, no, no, it's a chicken, so it's female. It's female. Female chicken. So, so a hen. Eggs. Uh, theoretically, it could lay eggs. Mm, we're going to have to scramble eggs every morning. Bit macabre to eat them in front of a chicken, I feel. Chickens really haven't evolved well. They have to eat their own eggshells in order to lay eggs. That... Does Hottie judge die for this? Bird to bird. Um... <laughs> What's the vibe I get? What's the vibe check from Hottie that I get? I can't see them. What's the vibe check I get? Um, uh, The vibe check is just this look of just... <laughs> It's fine. Hari, you can ride too. You Come lucky Hari can't talk. Come on, you lucky Hari can't talk. Come on. He could if he wanted to. Um, but yeah, you have a giant fowl with you. Excellent. Very good. Hmm. I've realized two things about the eye. However much I love him, he has two things, owed and privileged. Man, it's fair. <laughs> he, he 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 was the babylon of an entire town for like 150 years. Oh, yeah. Can I can I also grab that tree thing before we leave? The tree thing? The thing that was in my body. The the dagger? Yes. Yeah. Cool. I just want to be sure I said that.
Um, we should probably be off then. If you have your items and your chickens. Yes. I assume we start to head off then. Okay. You start heading across the island of Toluna into this just this vast and dense forest. Could I get a survival check? Mm hmm. From all the people who don't specialize in nature. Um, I would gladly. Uh, spe- I specialize in nature. Can I do a nature check? Nature would let you identify what you're looking at. Survival lets you navigate through it. Okay. Does being on a chicken help me survive in any way? Surprisingly, no. Okay, just had to check. I feel like this is the most dramatic dice rolling I've ever seen. Oh, me, I was just sorting my dice. Oh. <laughs> oh, we thought you were like rolling or something. Shoot. No, no, I, I, I rolled my die. I saw the numbers. I was like, eh, cool, awesome. I'm just, just going to start sorting my dice now. What did you get? Dice that have betrayed me and dice that haven't betrayed me. What three. did you get? What did you get? Three. You three? A total of three. A total of three for survival. Uh, three for survival, yes. I am riding on the back of the chicken. I am napping. I am asleep on the back of this chicken. Your idea of survival is just, you know, I'm fine right now. You you kind of turn backwards on, uh, on, on the giant chicken. You lean back and the chicken going under, still going under direct orders, is still like walking alongside Manalo and Gaita. Yep, yep. I am asleep on the back of a giant chicken and letting them handle the tedious business of navigating this forest. Mm-hmm. See, um, <clears throat> wow, I want something to be very clear. Um, accessibility matters and inclusivity matters and playing a blind character is very important because they are not um, hindered by everything that's around them. Um, you can find creative ways to make your gameplay just as uh, poignant as anybody else. However, in this case of navigating a forest, I only got a seven. So no, I can't help jack shit right now. All right, Gaita, could I please get a survival <laughs> check? I got a 15. <laughs> Good Lord. Um. You're able, to, you're able to navigate y'all uh, heading towards Baga without any kind of meandering or error. Um, and as the day goes on, the sun starts to slowly set. And you find yourself starting to travel in the forest as it's getting darker. What do you do? I can feel the, the sun slowly or I can feel the heat on my body slowly becoming cooler and cooler as I can tell that uh, there's less light upon my face. Um, We should probably find an area to um, rest. We can potentially go on a little longer, but eventually we will need to settle down. And most forests and places are not safe at night, so we must be careful. Agreed. Um, and I'll kind of just keep my eyes open for like a spot that looks, you know, maybe kind of covered or safe-ish or than like being directly on the path, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I'm going I'm to kind of like my, my head will kind of swivel around and I'm like listening for like spaces that sound like a lot of sound isn't there, which means it's probably denser. And or it's like a like a rock formation or a cave or something to um to have some cover. Um just trying to fill that out. Okay. Um you've trying to find a play a place off the beaten path. Um let me check the island art, island art, island art. Um just a little just a little ways ahead you find a uh some, some parts of the hill where the terrain starts to get a little hilly. Um, and you're able to find uh, kind of a small al- natural alcove that you can make camp in and be shel- be easily hidden and kind of hidden away from the wild. 
Right. Does here feel about right for you, Manalo? Yes, it seems like it'd be good for now. I will keep first watch if necessary. All right. Probably wise to keep a watch. And by the way, I've named my chicken. I've named it Manok. Can you not name it something so close to my name? That is already confusing. I'm sorry. I just, I've just, I've named it something very convenient. Well, I am a convenience. Understood. No, no, no. That name is convenient for it. You see, like an eldritch blast slowly beginning to form. <laughs> Paladin, are you laughing at what I think you're laughing at? Never mind me, man. <laughs> I thought you were going to kind of akin it to Hari's name. Oh, no. Hari is very unique. I couldn't name this chicken anything like Hari. But yet you would name it close to my name. Understood. I'm going to walk off and begin bedding down. He gets dug himself into like the worst possible tunnel. <laughs> okay. Have, have a nice night, Manalo. Uh, oh, no. I'm not going to sleep. I'm getting our space prepared so okay. I can take the first watch. Cool. Great. Good. Um, Stay here. Um, Manok, you should eat. Um, Manok is just kind of staying upright, kind of kind of looking alert and kind of uh, alarmed as chickens naturally do. Cool. I'll cast speak with animals as a ritual. Um, and I'll, I'll speak with the chicken. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll just kind of start by... Hello, hello, my name is uh, Dai. Um, welcome on this adventure. We are traveling um, across the country to save the world. Um, it's good to meet you. I uh, have, have a, a, a nickname prepared, uh, but I figured I might ask what your name is before I uh, just, you know, start calling you the nickname that I've prepared. All right. Um, you, you start talking to, to this chicken. Yes. And- <laughs> It immediately goes, huh? And starts turning in a slow circle. Are you hungry? What? Eat some food. Who said that? Hello. Hi, it's me. It's me. Look down here. Below you. Moving in a slow circle. Huh? I'll hold my sword up in the air and wave it so that it, I can interfere with its line of sight. Hello. It's like looking. It's like looking 180 degrees away from you. No, hello. I'll walk in front of it, like jump and, and hello. As you're right walking here, to get in front of it, it's moving in that same direction. So you're okay. still behind it. I'll stop and I'll turn the other way. <laughs> Eventually oh. I will get in front of it. I have 10 minutes on the spell. <laughs> um, it sees this, it sees the sword and it's just like, oh, me, you? Yes. It hello. pecks the sword. Hey now. Where'd you go? Right here. I haven't moved. Are you hungry? Are you invisible? Yes. Are you hungry? Where did you go? I started turning the slow circle again. It doesn't matter where I went. Are you hungry? You should eat some food. The chicken takes it takes a kind of uh, a kind of squatted stance, like ready to like ready to fight. It matters to me. Where'd you go? Are you invisible? Where'd you go? I literally haven't moved. Still holding the sword. <laughs> you raise you raise the sword again. It's looking away from you again. I'm right back exactly where turn back around. I'm right over here. It moves 180 degrees and then 180 degrees again. Where are you? Literally right here. Where is here? I poke it with the sword very gently. It kicks backwards and its entire foot is bigger than you. Yes, of course. And it slams into you. Sure. Uh, dealing a grand total of uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. And uh, you are knocked back 10 feet. Who touched me? It was me. Don't kick me. I'm trying to talk to you. 
It, it turns around and looks at, looks at you. Look, I don't know where you went, but my owner's here. He'll protect me. Yes, I will. Hello. What is your name, Lord shut, Chicken? Shut up. I'm trying to listen to him. I will take a very deep breath and then begin speaking in a very different voice. Hello, chicken. Hello. It is I, your owner, gesturing largely to maintain attention on me. Hello, my chicken. It is I, your owner, to I. I wanted to see how you were doing. It, it looks at you, looks down, walks up to you, sits down on the ground with a, kind of, a small dust cloud and looks at you in the eyes, goes, hello, owner. Hello. hello. Tell me. What is your name, giant chicken? Sisu. Sisu. Mm. What does it mean? Chicken. Ah. Very nice. I like it. I will call you Sisu then. Um, do you require food before we go to sleep? Oh, I'll eat. Okay, good. You are very small. Yes, that is do why. Do you need help staying warm? Uh, not presently. No, thank you. I, I you are the size head. of an egg. I am not an egg, though. I promise you. But if you, but you are the size of an egg. How do you stay warm? Well, I have um, this, and I like kind of tug at my my vest. It keeps me warm. Those are weird feathers. Thank you. You're weird. Well, that's fair. Um, we're going to call it a night here, so be sure that you eat up and get lots of rest, because first thing in the morning, we are going to travel again. Okay. Perfect, thank you. If um, you see the other chicken, tell me. I'll defend you. Thank you. You're, you are, are very brave, my friend. And I appreciate you very much. And it stands up and starts grazing. Perfect. Very good. Lucia, are you okay? I love chickens. I love chickens. I love this chicken. <laughs> you, you see your, your giant fowls kind of grazing, picking at vegetation, picking at clippings of, off the ground. Um, to I, Manalo, Gaito, what are you three doing? Uh, taking watches. <laughs> You're taking what? Taking watches? Taking watches. Yes, yes, watches. Okay. Um, I have the first watch. I cannot believe chicken just happened. Um, yeah. Uh, while that conversation was happening or not happening, I think all Manalo, you know what? Actually, no. Mm, Legit question. Speak with animals just allows the eye to speak chicken. Sure. There was a struggle for at least five minutes trying to figure out where the eye was in that conversation. Yes. yes. How loud were two people just balking? Um, have you ever listened to a normal chicken call out? I want to say yes. I mean, you can YouTube it. It's, it's quite loud. You can hear it through buildings. Uh, yeah, it's, that's it's, why I got... It's, it's on par with like a... Uh, it's like on par with a car alarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was assuming. So uh, for so five imagine just, minutes about... Imagine alarms. like a... Like a tornado warning. Yeah. So about a couple of minutes in the space that we're trying to bog down, we thought was safe. Things might have just been alerted to our location. So yes. I'm going to be looking around uh, as I, you know, as we get our stuff together, but also now just making sure that nothing's coming this way. No shuffling, especially if I'm getting any feelings of the Aswang variety, things of that nature. Just making sure nothing's coming because now we are a, a, there's a, there's a, there's a big old target in our location. Just, just a, just a big old squawking back and forth. Yep. Yeah. It is perfectly normal. 
I'm sure that the, the, the wildlife here experiences it every day, but it stands out not at all. I don't give that a response. I just look around. I feel like the more that the stuff goes on, the more and more Manalo goes, no, no, no. They won't they wouldn't find the bodies. Wouldn't find them at all. Maybe ever. Um you keep watch, Manalo, and uh, on your watch, nothing truly happens. It's calming as, as night starts to settle in and you feel a cool breeze coming in. After a while, the chicken kind of walked back into camp and like um, picked up to eye and set to eye against like this its center and kind of curled around to eye. Okay. Okay. So just so you understand, just so we know, a long rest technically isn't necessarily sleeping. It's just like light activity and things of that nature. Yeah. So I'm going to, after my rest, I'm not necessarily going to sleep. I'm just going to just chill, but I'm still like looking around because I guess I, he, he does not feel comfortable b- yeah. being not ready at night now. Mm. Did something run afoul of that? <laughs> oh, I think I think CP's gonna find me. <laughs> I'm not coming back out. Continue. He knows where you live. He doesn't have to find you. Like, um, I know where he lives too. How the fuck do you know? Um. So, uh, your 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 ship ends, Manolo. Who has second watch? I I can take second watch. Um, do I, you wake up to just a face full of feathers. I really, I'll climb out. Um, you just, you're just surrounded by the deeper. Oh. Oh. Cool. All right. I'll just climb out, extricate myself from, from uh, the, the pile of feathers and uh, take my watch. Okay. Um, let me roll again. Do you have a fire going in the night? I, I don't personally need one. Okay. Um, throughout the night, you can see different eyes looking at your camp from, from the tree lines, but nothing ever approaches and nothing really makes purposeful movements towards you. Cool, cool. You see Can't occasionally... Where they are. Occasionally you see small games skitter past, but nothing bothers you or your camp. Good to know. What do you do? Just kind of chill. I'll uh, spend some time each each long rest. I I can uh, use my uh, gilded gifts, so I will um, uh, re-gild my uh, weapon, my Chris, um, uh, to make it magical um, with golden gilding on it, and I'll just keep doing my thing, hanging out. Okay. Your watch ends. Do you wake Gaita to do watch or no? no I, I believe so, yes. I think okay. it's wise to keep watching. So. Uh, Gaita, you are awoken uh, just before sunrise for your watch. What do you do? Um, I'll keep watch and then um, I hmm. I'll try and catch some bugs. You'll try and catch some bugs? Yeah. Worms, bugs, not like a like a jar full of bugs. Do you have any kind of container? I have a fermenting kit that I bought, so I'm assuming I have a container in you, there. You have you have some like clay, you have a, like a couple of small clay jugs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try and put some bugs in there. Sure, can you roll me survival check? I sure can. Natural 20! <laughs> Jesus Christ, all the things. You find plenty of grubs. You're kind of in a hilly area. You're able to break apart some of the loose stone or move some rocks to find, like, hidden undergrubs. Okay. So you're able to find plenty, plenty of vermin. Sweet. And I'll also also attune to my, my cloak. Mm-hmm. 
cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, sunrise starts to peek over the horizon. And as you're finishing up collecting uh, different bugs, you hear Arr! coming from Sisu. Good morning. Sorry, that's a very large file. Book. I'll that, that's better. Take one Book. of the the bugs that I collected, and I'll here, girl, here, girl, and I'll try and throw it to her. Um, she snaps her beak at it, and the the air kind of like uh whips with how fast the chicken bites onto the worm. Book. Good chicken. Chicken leans close to you, looking looking at you in the eyes, and then like bites downwards at at your jar. Um, hey, can you roll? Can you roll? Let's just roll. Roll, roll, roll me just a d twenty roll. Raw d twenty. Okay. Thirteen. Um, the chicken destroys the jar, biting at the vermin inside. You know. What? A leather bag, maybe a leather bag for bugs. Um, the the chicken stands up and walks over to you and starts walking around you. Uh, before finally like sitting down um and just encircling you in in chicken and feathers and fluff you're kind of pinned here i'll sort of pat like one of the wings because i'm assuming that with the houses that she's lived in guy tub maybe has owned like normal sized chickens <laughs> yeah that's reasonable to say that's reasonable to say um so you know I'm I'm having a good time, and then uh, eventually I'll I'll sort of. Uh, you're so very large. Uh, die. Yes. <clears throat> oh, are you awake? No, probably. If if it's morning time, yes. You, did you you named your your chicken right? Yes, I I, I after speaking with the chicken last night, I've decided. Um, Maybe I should use its given name and not uh, the name that I gave for it, but yes. Uh, the, the, the given name is, is, is Sisu, so that's what you can call the chicken is Sisu. Sisu. Yes. She's a very good chicken. Yes. She's just very large. That is the point of getting a giant chicken. I believe I'm stuck here beneath this chicken. But it is cuddly here. Are you telling me that you, Gaita, who is supposed to be so strong, cannot lift this chicken? I suppose it is a matter of if I would like to lift the chicken or not. And I'm quite comfortable. If you're comfortable, great. If, if you don't need me to remove the chicken, you just keep staying there. You can keep the chicken as a blanket. Um... Is Manal also up at this point? So uh, I got up pretty early because again I don't I sleep, but I sleep very light. Um, I got up early, so towards like during your watch, like at the end of your watch, uh, before this happened, and I would have um, moved just kind of away from the party a bit um, and just kind of like sit to myself. Um, and while it's still on the quiet side, um, as the sun is like starting to begin to rise um i would just kind of just meditate and um um i close my eyes even though you can't see them um but there's an act of like actually kind of going into himself and he says uh he didn't say anything but he just kind of thinks it has been a couple of days since I learned of your presence, and many things have happened at this point. Um, 
if you would wish to finally speak to me, um, whoever you are, inside of my mask, um, that would be quite useful because I have questions and I fear no one else has answers. So it would be very... It would be very um, useful, or I believe in going to the source, or a source. Okay. Can you roll me a perception check, Manalo? Yeah, right after I throw something. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, I can. Perception check. Oh, mother bitch. Try that again. Ooh, yeah, that's a 25. 25? Yes. <clears throat> you hear this very faint voice. It's it's not like quiet, like it's talking quietly, but it's like it's distant. What do you do? You can't quite make out words yet, but you can tell it's there. I do not know if you are being quiet for the sake of being quiet. You do seem talkative, as it became apparent when the eye attempted to speak to you. But I believe I have seen enough, and I've seen a lot, and I am ready to know more about the past if you are willing to share. Can you roll me another perception check? Oh God. Twenty-one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you start to hear the voice get a little, little louder, and louder. Um, can you roll me a persuasion check? Natural 20. Natural 20. Um, <clears throat> For 22. 22? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay. You hear very calmly, uh, very quietly, um, someone uh, speak out. Someone, th this voice, you realize that you're closer to it now. You haven't moved at all, but this voice is close now. Um, and you hear like someone whispering into your into your ear. Um, my name is Kilala. And you took my life, you son of a bitch. May I ask how and why? That does not seem like something I would do, but apparently there is more to me than I understand. And if it, if it is any um, reconciliation, or if it is, if you would, if you would accept an apology, I. Apologize. It doesn't matter. It's not you I need the apology from. It's who you were. They're waiting for me, and I can't go yet because of what you did. And I can only be angry at a past you because it isn't even you that I can be angry at. You are just a child. 
You know nothing. And they're waiting for me. And you took that from me. And their voice gets quiet again. Who took that from you? And why? How? Before the, you go. That voice is getting quieter. You can tell from the from how it sounds out they're trying to shout, but their voice is getting farther and farther away. Can I can I try to this is kind of fucked, but I'll say it. Um they're with me. And I don't know in what way. Thank you. Um, I don't know in what way or why they're there, but they are there, which means they're kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. um, can I attempt to harness the power or whatever energy it is that is forcing them to me to try to keep them here just a little bit longer? Like, whether it's the curse or whatever, kind of tap into that power and just kind of hold the rope taut just for a second. Yes. I'll allow you to. Can you make me a constitution saving throw? Okay. <laughs> okay, don't fuck me over. Um, oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? I'm going to take that. That's a 20. That's a 19 on a die plus one. Okay, so then, um, you f you get this tether of eldritch energy tied to that voice. You can feel you can feel just the you kind of reeling the person back in. What you and say? I say as I do, I say, please, I need to know these answers. If you are to be free, and I do not wish to keep you trapped here, I need to know who I was so I can find out who I can be. So please, I insist, tell me what happened. You were some thief. I died. And you took me back up, some dirt-covered kid. I was promised I was going to go. What did I steal? Me. You stole from me. You took the one thing that no one should ever touch. The mask? You took my mask. You took what protected me. And then something took my body, and now I'm stuck here. Because of you. Manal, can you make me constitution check? Sure. No longer a saving throw, just a check. No, it's the same number. It's fine. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Fifteen? <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, you take one level of exhaustion. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you can maintain this for another round or let it go, but you will have to make another check. Uh, okay. Oh, God. This is... Now, this is the thing. He hasn't gotten any information until now. Gonna maintain? Yeah. Okay. Um... And I say, because he told me he was a thief and and I killed him and something took his body. He says that you're the thief. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry, yeah. I was a thief. I killed him. Something took his body. I took his mask. Um, how long after your death did I become this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how old you got. I don't know how old you became. But I watched you take it on the while I was going down the Black River. I could I... see I could see my wife waiting for me with the others. My uncle. I understand. My father. I understand. I was what has almost happened. there. 
And now I was almost there. You mentioned to my friend that someone else potentially had plans or something. What does that mean? I was dead just like you. Yes, I might have taken your life, taken your life, but something took mine and I woke up. I need to know what happened before I died. You, you did, you did some, you, you did something to try and make yourself famous. You tried some daring acts. I remember you were trying to save someone and you didn't drown. You were starting to sink. You're trying to save someone. And you started to sink. Can you roll me another constitution check? Because you are at exhaustion one, this is going to be at disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. Surely is. Oh. Thank you. Ten. You now have two levels of exhaustion. Do you maintain or do you let go? The tether begins to slowly become loose. Mm. And I say, you might not believe me. Though I have done these acts in the past, apparently, that is not who I am now. I am seeking to learn so I can figure out what I do from there. And if I can release you, I will. As you feel this presence, you, as you feel, feel Kilala starting to fade away, can you make me a perception check? This is going to be a disadvantage. Yep. 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 What'd you get? Natural one. Natural one? Mm -hmm. What does it give you? Uh, it gives me a plus eight. Give me an eight. Eight? Okay. Um, I will allow you to try and get one more level of exhaustion if you want to hear what he, if you want to hear probably what he said. <sighs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Do you take it? Yes. You as you as he starts to fade away, his voice starts to slip by, you pull push out of that eldritch tether again to hear him one last time, and you hear him say you want to help find what has my body and you let go and Kalala slips back into the mask and then as they walk away or they, they slip away they kind of come back to And I'll slowly get up and slowly begin to walk towards the group. That's me. And that is where we're going to call it for the session.
<laughs> Hello, everyone. I've your I've been your DM of the day, HTT Paladin. Uh, let's go around and say hello to our lovely players once more. Let's start with uh, CB. Hi, CB. Who are you? What do you do? Hi, I am Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bard, uh, your uh, Umla God, Dragonborn, Grave Robber, Rogue, Manalo. Uh, yeah, that was deep. Uh, you can find me in many places, again, at Critical Bard. Uh, I do lots of stuff. Tomorrow, you can find me over at, wait, am I lying? I might be lying. I might be lying. I might be lying. I might be lying, but if I'm not lying, you can catch me over on the Lark Networks for the Gravicon order. So I believe we are off. Yes. Nope, we're off. Uh, never mind. You will not see me there. I'll be streaming, doing something. Uh, on Sunday, you can catch me over on I Need Diverse Games as I DM Dungeons and Durags, which is an all-black uh, campaign. Uh, somewhat homebrew, somewhat not, because effort. Uh, but it's a good old time. Um, after that, you can catch me on Saving Throw Show for New uh, Pantheon Academia, which is a uh, TTRPG using the Overarm system, which is an anime-inspired uh, system, uh, where we play teenagers in high school. And this week, uh, our special guest, Draconix, is going to be joining us. Uh, very, very excited. Definitely check that out. On Mondays, you can catch me on Realmsmith for Into the Mist, our Curse of Straw campaign, uh, where currently uh, Lauren Urban is guesting. Um, as Muriel, I forget her last name, but she's a lot of fun. Uh, check that out. Who's also and Lawrence also on D four? If you know that, uh, if you watch that show. Uh, and other than that, I think I think that's it. I think yes. Since I will not be here next week for certain reasons, I also want to boost that next Saturday I will be a uh, part of Gary Con for uh, the Founders and Legends. Uh, 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 event. I'll be playing with Satine Phoenix and a group of amazing individuals. You don't want to miss that. I have a very fun character who uh, I don't regret building. Uh, that's me. I will pass it over to Lucia. Um, hi, I'm Lucia. Um, I run Seer Sword online. It's my little shop where I sell TTRPG related stuff. And tomorrow I'm having a candle sale. So, um, if you are into witchcraft, they're, they have like little spells in them, but also if you just like smelly good stuff. Um, I also like smelly good stuff, so that's why I make them. Um, you can also find dice, um, uh, pins, all types of stuff on my store all the time. Um, I have some exciting stuff coming to it soon as well, which um, hopefully I'll be able to announce soon. Um, and then also, if you want to catch me doing more artsy stuff, you can catch me on Josh's channel um, every Monday where we make uh, we make things. Um, last week, I made a um, robotic lobster. So <laughs> if you want to see me do more uh, wild stuff on there, um, check out Josh's channel. Um, and otherwise, I'm I'm here playing playing Gaita. So um, thank you for having me. I'll pass it over to Josh. Girlfriends, we make girlfriends over there. Girlfriends, robotic we make lobsters. Girlfriends. <laughs> um, it's a whole thing. Come check it out on Monday for uh, context, because I refuse to give any additional context here, other than the word girlfriends. Um, What's up? My name is Josh. I am a freelance tabletop game designer. I am a variety streamer on my own channel, twitch.tv slash Joshua Simons. Um, uh, and I am the assistant director of ambassadors at Jasper's Game Day. It's a nonprofit organization that uses tabletop gaming for the cause of suicide prevention. Um, uh, yeah, uh, this has been an absolute delight. Um, uh, I am, uh, in like an hour or so, uh, joining some cool folks over at Wicked Game RPG on Twitch. Uh, it's a group of, um, uh, TTRPGers from the UK who are currently in the middle of a 24 hour Curse of Strahd charity stream. Um, and I am joining them at 4 AM, whatever British time is. Uh, with an energetic character to hopefully keep them from falling asleep at the wheel. So um, uh, gonna gonna be over there um, uh, in in just a little bit. Um, beyond that, uh, you can of course catch me on Mondays at my channel uh, where I hang out with Lucia, as previously mentioned. 
I also often stream on Wednesdays on my channel, just kind of random nonsense, whatever it is. Um, and I stream on Sundays, typically Stardew Valley. Um, uh, so lots of options. Um, yeah, that's what I've got. Uh, Paladin. Hi there, I'm HG Paladin, otherwise known as Paladin. I'm a TTRPG content creator. I make a bunch of books. I got a book right now on Kickstarter called Incantations. Do you want to make a ship fly? Do you want to enchant your own arms and armor? Do you want to have your own mage's assistant? Do you want to speak with the departed? Do you want to summon like, like a fuck ton of cats? Like I mean like a shit eating grin amount of cats? We have the spells for you. Uh, it's live on Kickstarter right now. We end in about two weeks. We just broke 40k today, which is wild to me. Because uh, the last time I hit at anywhere near this amount on the Kickstarter, I was still stressed out, like a lot. Um, you can check me out there. Uh, I'm usually on Twitter or HD Paladin or Instagram sometimes, but you shouldn't go there because it's a cursed place. But I've been your DM of the evening. I hope you've had a fun time. We'll see you next week. I'm just going to add Latia, Latia oh, yes, yes. on all social media platforms. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Latia Jaquise. Check her out on Rivals of Waterdeep on Sundays uh, at noon Central Time and uh, the Gary Khan stream next week that uh, CV mentioned earlier um, on Sunday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, on Sunday. Everything's on Sunday. Um, and of course, uh, she also works for Money Cook Gaming. Really cool. Love them. Love her. Give her love. I'm sorry for interrupting. It's all good. I was pretty much done. We're going to raid um, someone. Yeah, are we raiding someone? I don't care who you raid, but... We're going to raid D&D Jordan Lee. She's actually currently on the front page. Uh, raising oh, yeah. money for Color of Change. Uh, Heck yeah. A uh, charity TTRPG stream. With some familiar faces, actually. Cool. Mm. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Y'all bye.